Hello everybody and welcome back to my discord.py bot tutorial series. Today we're on episode 13. I um, hope you all have an amazing day and today we're going to be looking at how to use cogs with slash commands. If you don't know what cogs are, basically it's a way that we can separate and organize our code into different classes. Cogs are honestly really useful and I suggest everyone to use them because, um, you know, as soon as you start getting upwards, you know, 50 commands all in that one main.py file, you're going to want to separate them for not only better readability, but also for accessibility and you're able to organize your um, different commands together with each other. So how does it actually apply? So basically, if you want to create a class for a different, you know, group of commands, you could call it. So for example, if you want to make a bunch of if you want to make a cog that holds all of your games, then you would create a cog um, called games, and then that would hold all of your different, it's a class that holds all of your different commands inside of that class. But on top of that, if you want to actually place that class in a separate file, that's completely possible too, and I'm going to show you how to do that in today's video. Oh, and one more thing, another um, advantage of using cogs, um, not only for organization, but you can also... Um, if you set it up correctly, and I'll probably make a video later on, or maybe a little short on how to do it, um, you can actually load and unload different cogs. So, for example, if you want to disable or enable a certain command or group of commands, then you can do that through a um, through a command like in your main.py file. And I've actually done that in the past. So, if that's what you're looking for, you can 100% do that using cogs as well. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into the code. All right, so heading over to Visual Studio Code, the very first thing that we wanna do is set up our environment so we can have cogs. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing this through other files. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna create a new folder, new folder, and we're just calling it cogs. And I'm gonna store them all in a cogs folder just so it's a lot more organized um, on top of that. And then inside of here, let's create three different cogs. So we'll call one, um, we'll just, we won't put actual commands in it, like uh, useful commands, but we'll just call it cog1.py. And then we'll create another one, cog2.py, and then cog3.py. So now we have our cogs folder with our three different cogs in here, and let's actually make these cogs. So the very first thing is we just wanna get our imports in. So we wanna go ahead and import discord, and then from discord.ext import commands. This is basic, we've been doing this for um, all of our videos now. We've always wanna have that. So now we have to create that class that we're talking about. So we're gonna go to class, cog1 and just for good kind of um, practices I recommend making the name of the file the same as your um, class and also if you want to separate like if you're making a class for every single command I'd recommend making the class and the um, file name be the same as that command name does that make sense so like let, let's say I was making a cog for just a um, the command coin flip so I would make a, a file called coinflip.py the class would be named coin flip and the um, the command is coin flip. So yeah, those three things, um, they're all the same just for uniformity and be able to, um, yeah, have that unity across all those pieces. So yeah, we're creating this class, class cog one, and then we're going to take in, um, commands dot cog, because that's the type of what we're trying to create. We're trying to create a cog. Um, and I'll leave all the documentation for cogs down below. If you guys want to look into it. Um, yeah, so class cog one commands dot cog just, um, and the very first thing that we're going to do is create that init function or init method since we're inside of a class. So def underscore underscore init underscore. Then we're going to pass in self. And then we're also going to pass in the bot because when we load up this cog, we want to know um, what client we're on or bot we're on. So we're going to take in, actually not bot, I use client. So client as commands dot bot. And then under this, um, we're gonna establish the client self.client is equal to client. So there we go, there's our init function. So now we have this cog now created and we can actually use the clients that is being passed in from you know the main.py file when we load it up. All right, so now comes the fun part where we can actually add in our command. So let's go ahead and go down a couple lines, leaving space for readability. And I'm gonna quickly just paste in this command from a um, from a previous video, because this isn't a video on slash commands it's a video on using cogs and slash commands so this is just a basic um slash command that i've literally just copied over from my past episode um and then changed the names to be cog one and stuff like that so 
This is our slash command, and you can see one error already that we have client underlined because client is not defined. We have self.client defined, but we don't have client defined, at least not under the init. We're taking it in and then assigning client to self.client, but we can't use. So you might think, okay, so let me just change this to self.client, but then you see we don't know what self is. So that's kind of like a loop of like issues that we have, but I'm going to show you how to fix this. So if I go back, so instead of using at client.true.command, we're going to come up here and say from discord import app commands, because technically when we have the decorator client.true.command, we're creating an app command, right? We're just using clients and then adding, I mean, accessing the tree and adding a command directly, but instead, you know, the, tr the traditional use is to use app commands. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So um, if we get rid of client.tree, so we have just dot command and add in at app underscore commands dot command. And there we go. That yellow line has gone away. So now we have our slash command inside of a cog. And that's how you um, transfer or convert a slash command from a normal file or like not in a cog, a non cog non cog slash command into a cog slash command all right so all we need is just one more thing inside of this file but i'm actually going to hold off so i can actually kind of run down why we need it so what we're going to do is go back into the main.py file which is in our case is episode 13 and we're going to want to create a function inside of the client um or not create a function we're actually redefining a function um so there's this function called or oh, one second so yeah, so there's this function called setup hook, which is called um, every time a bot is ran, but it's kind of like in the background and discord.py actually allows us to alter that function. So what we can do is we say async def setup hook. As you can see, it's already a quarantine that's already defined. And oh, if I tabbed it, it actually just made it my own. I don't want that though. Um, so we have async def setup hook self. And so we know we have to take in self because we're inside of a class async def setup hook self and then we're going to load all of the extensions of cogs that we have so what i'm going to do is quickly create a list which contains all of the um, cog files that i have so we're going to say um cogs is equal to a list not setup hook is equal to a list and then we're going to hold the name of these cog files and the way you actually um format cog files is by doing cog dot and then whatever the name is so in this case it's cog one um, and that's all we're going to load for now we'll add cog two and cog three after but for now we're just going to have this so now async dev setup hook self and then we're obviously setting this up for the later one so we're actually going to loop over this list obviously there's only one thing in this list but when we have multiple things in this list we'll be able to loop over it so we're going to say for ex or it would say ext which stands for extension um in cogs we're going to say await self dot load underscore extension. Um, oh, wait, sorry, this, sorry, it won't be able to access it. So since we're okay. So as you can see, we're not able to access cogs because cogs is just a, um, a variable that's being defined kind of in the air and we're not able to access it. So since we're inside of a class, we actually want to make this self dot cogs. So what this means is that anytime a instance of client is created we have this um variable cogs always being created if th that kind of sounded confusing but just put self.cogs and then so for extension in self.cogs and now we're able to access it um wait is that not right hold on sorry i'm just i'm doing this in the wrong spot so this is actually outside of the init function so yeah of course when you want to create anything or this any new variable you obviously need to do inside of the init. That's what, you know, the purpose of it's for. So let's move this over here and actually put this where it's supposed to be. Okay, um, whoops, wait, that should not be on the same thing. Hold on, yeah, sorry. Just need to unindent that, okay. So now we have self.cogs when the um, bot is created, which holds just cog one for now. And we say for extension in self.cogs, self.load extension, extension, okay. So now this should, and by the way, this load extension just loads it up and it'll load all the code in the file. Cause obviously when you run a Python file, it's only gonna run that one file. And this is how we actually load the other files, um, or at least through discord. So our setup hook, like I said, is called whenever the bot is actually ready or not ready, but when it's actually ran. 
So it's a little bit different than on ready. They're similar in how they work, but it's slightly different because it's a setup hook, but whatever. Um, and then we're looping over everything in, in self.cogs, which for now is only one thing. And then we're going to load that extension, which in this case, we're loading cog.cog1. Okay, so now we should be able to load our extension. And like I said, that one thing that we need to add to the, um, Okay, sorry, I'm back. I thought something was wrong with my recording, but um, okay. So like I said, that one thing that we um, didn't add initially that we need to go back to the cog file and add, that's what we're going to do right now. So let's go back to our cog file and let's create some, well, actually, let me run this and show you what the error is. Um, sorry. Okay, there we go. Let me run this and show you what it says so you can actually see why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, it should give me an error. Okay, that was a strange error. Well, not strange, but I know why now, but interesting to deal with. So basically, um, we can't use the word cogs here because cogs is actually a reserved variable and you can actually look over that and you see it's actually a property and it like includes like mapping and all that stuff. So if you ever like um, call a variable and like obviously it's saying property cogs here. So we know like it's referencing a property and we know we didn't create a property. We're trying to create a variable. So something's up here. Um, so it just changes the name. In this case, we can't use cogs because it's already reserved. So let's just do cogs list, and then we'll have to change this to self.cogs list. Okay, so now when I try to run this, I'm gonna show you. Okay, finally, we've gotten the error that I was looking for. Okay, so basically what it's saying is extension cogs.cog1, raise an error, cog1.cog1 must have more than one parameter. And um, so if we go over to cog1, um, oh, sorry, that is actually not there. I was thinking of, I need to put self in my command. I forgot when we were, um, when we were converting our command, we need to add self to all our commands. Sorry about that. That is not what I was looking for, but that is an error that we need to fix. So let's go ahead and fix that and let's run it again. And there we go. This is finally the error I was looking for. Okay. Extension cogs.cog1 has no setup function. So every single cog that we create inside of Discord needs to have a setup function and they're all the same, so don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, that's the little piece that I need to add to the cog. Jeez, we went through way too, too many errors there. So at the very bottom, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our setup function by doing async def setup and then we're gonna pass in the bot, or sorry, clients um, as, yeah, we're gonna have to pass in that as commands.bot and then we're just gonna reference this to none. And then we're gonna say await client dot, and then we actually need to add this cog. So yes, we're loading the extension, but um, Discord itself needs that cog, if that makes sense. Like we're, we're loading it when we're reading the code, but we actually haven't loaded that cog into like, for example, like the built-in help function or even like the commands in general, it won't have those commands until we actually load it. So we go client dot add cog, and then we're gonna pass in the name of the class, which is cog one. And then we're gonna call it. So in order to call it, it also needs this client variable, which is client right here. Okay, so I think that should be everything, honestly. And I don't wanna jinx myself because you know I've made a lot of mistakes so far. So let's see if everything works how we wanted it to. Okay, and there we go. That's th Okay, so this is how we know it actually worked. So no errors, first of all, is good. And also if we look down here, I have this little thing that shows how many slash commands have been synced and we have one slash command synced and we don't have any slash commands in the main file and if we go to our cog file we have one slash command so let's go over to discord and see if this has actually worked and you know the console isn't messing with me all right going over to discord um the moment of truth let's see if our command is actually here so if we do slash cog one and there we go it's actually here and when i run it it should respond with hello just like we have coded it so that's how we create um slash commands inside of our cogs and organize all of our code better um it is my suggestion to make every command in its own cog, if you can, um, just for accessibility. If you want to group them together, like all of your games in one cog, um, all of your moderation commands in one cog, that's completely fine if you want to do that. Um, but just have some organization to it, please, because I've opened, you know, Discord bots and they're, you know, a thousand twelve hundred files, sorry, a thousand twelve hundred lines long. And I'm like, and none of it's organized and it's atrocious till it go through. So let's quickly, I'm going to kind of speed run through this and kind of show you how to add multiple cogs. And it's simple as just, you know, copying this over, making the commands in your other um, cogs and then adding the name of the file to that list. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All 
All right, that was pretty easy. So all I did was each file, I literally copied the code directly over and then I just control H to replace the word COG1 with the right number. So now it's COG2 and this one's COG3. So everything should be set up correctly. And then also, yeah, we um, added the name of the file to this. So COGS.COG2 and COGS.COG3. So now everything should be loaded. And now in our um, console, we should see that three slash commands are loaded and we should be able to use them. So let's see, there we go, slash command synced, three commands, because it's actually looping through this list and loading all of the uh, slash commands in those files. So let's go ahead and see if they're all working, slash cog, and now we, we can see here that we have all three commands, cog one, two, and three, and they all just sent hello, but right, I guess I'll do cog three to prove that that one works as well. So there we go, that's how we actually use cogs and slash commands in conjunction with each other. Um, if you have any questions, ask them down below or join my Discord support server for help. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, comment down below any video suggestions you have. But yeah, this is a kind of more in-depth tutorial, you know, using classes and all that different stuff and stuff from different files. Um, hopefully you knew about classes before coming to this video or else you're probably really confused. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, like I said, drop them down below. Let me know any ideas you want to see. If you like the video, like it, subscribe if you want to keep seeing content, you know, the normal stuff. So um, with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.